I'm Colleen Ballinger and I'm about to do something absolutely terrifying. As you can tell by the title of this video, I am deleting all of my social media. <laughs> This is obviously terrifying for many reasons, the top reason being that it's my job. So I'm basically deleting my job from my life. I am scared. I've seen a few people online do videos where they like don't look at their phone for 24 hours or they delete all their social media for 24 hours. And they always talk about how it's so beneficial and amazing. And I always watch those and think, are you insane? Nothing about it sounds relaxing. Nothing about it sounds rejuvenating. Nothing about it sounds pleasant at all. It sounds terrifying. How do you keep up with the news. What do you do for entertainment? How do you stalk people? Not in like a creepy sense, just in like a, I wonder what that person's up to that I haven't talked to in 15 years kind of way. But so many people have talked about the benefits of doing this. And I thought to myself, I'm never going to do that until today. I don't know why I woke up today and I thought I'm going to try it. I'm going to delete all of my social media for like a week and see how it goes. See if I can survive. I am so incredibly addicted to my phone. And I know a lot of people talk about how horrible it is that as a society, we are all so addicted to our phones and social media. I actually kind of don't agree with that. <laughs> I think that it can be bad to be addicted to your phone. I mean, you want to make sure that you're being social and aware of your surroundings and not just sucked into your phone. But I think there are so many benefits from social media and our cell phones. I have found some of my best friends through social media. My entire career is through social media. That's how I get my news. That's how I find my entertainment. That's how I get up to date with kind of everything in life is through social social media through my phone. So while I see what people are saying when they're like, ah, being addicted to social media is bad. Being addicted to your phone is so bad. Like, I totally see what you're saying, but at the same time, like, I don't feel that way. But people talk about how it's so beneficial to not have your phone and not use social media. I think the main reason why I've never really had the urge to try out not having social media or not using my phone for a while is because I grew up without this stuff. So I remember what it was like to not have a cell phone. I remember what it was like to have no information coming to me through the internet on my phone. I remember what it was like to be bored and not have things like silly TikToks to make me laugh or to inspire my creativity. Those are things that like I love and I don't miss not having them in my life. Now, social media is my job. So I think I might schedule some tweets, some posts, some videos, just so that there's something going up on the internet so people aren't worried because I do post very frequently, like literally every single day frequently. So I think I'm gonna schedule some stuff so that people don't think I like disappeared off the face the planet, but I will not be using my phone. And I'm gonna try for a week. I don't think it's gonna happen. I don't believe in myself, guys. What a surprise. I'm gonna try it though. We're gonna see how this goes and I will see you guys in a week, but probably more likely in 24 hours. Okay, here we go. Day one of not using social media, deleting all of my social media. Basically, I already am failing because it is 2 p.m. almost and I haven't even started the challenge yet. I already suck at this, but I've just been running around like crazy. I haven't had a chance to pick up my camera and film anything yet. I've used my phone very minimally today, but I did use it to promote my video that came out today on social media. And I also used it to schedule tweets for the week. So I haven't used it that much. I'm going to take, this is my the front page of my phone. These are my apps. Um, I don't even know how to use most of them, but I do use this top row the most. And sometimes I pop down here and use that Twitter. Okay. I can't delete my apps because I don't know the passwords to any of them. That's the God's honest truth. Like I know I could figure it out if I needed to, but like I literally don't remember my passwords. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move all my social media apps to the last page on here. My natural instinct is gonna be to pick up my phone and click the area of my phone where the social media stuff is and it's not gonna be there. Instead, it's going to be like my notes app so I can write notes, you know, stuff like that. So here we go. This is my new homepage, okay? So this is where the apps used to be, the social media apps, and now it's a notes app. So whenever I think I'm clicking on social media, it's gonna open up notes and I'm gonna have to like write out my thoughts and kind of journal or make a to-do list or something like that. The next one is the ukulele tuner. So maybe I'll accidentally open that and be like, oh, okay. And on social media, maybe I can write a song. And the next one is the Calm app, not a sponsorship. This video is not sponsored by anyone. We have been sponsored by Calm in the past on the podcast and it's like a meditation app. And so maybe instead of clicking social media, I'll click that and be like, oh, maybe I can try meditating. And the last one is the camera because that way I, if I try to click on social media and I open up that, it'll be like a horrible like selfie camera of my face at a bad angle and I'll be like <laughs> 
and then I'll wanna throw my phone. These are all great ways to basically keep me off my phone, or if I am on my phone, it'll keep me creative or meditating. The next row is photos. I'm always taking pictures of my kid. And then we have like Instacart and Postmates, DoorDash. I still get a lot of stuff delivered because we are still in the middle of a Panini, Panorama, uh, Panda Express. I still have YouTube on here because it is my job. I might need to check that kind of stuff. And I don't really consider YouTube social media. You know, I have my app store and the weather and my calendar and maps and stuff like that. And that's it. That's all I have on my homepage. If you scroll all the way, five pages over, you can find my apps, but I'm not gonna go on them. So this is where my social media is, but I have to scroll pretty far to get it. So hopefully I won't be doing that. My goal is to not use social media at all. In fact, my goal is to not even really use my phone. Now I am home alone with my kid. Today my husband's working. Corey's here for some of the day, but he's working. So I can't like not have my phone in case there's an emergency. If my husband tries to get a hold of me, a family member, whatever. So I'm gonna leave the ringer on and I'm gonna try to keep my phone in the room with me, but I'm not gonna use my phone unless I have to. So Flynn's taking his nap right now. I'm watching him on the monitor. And this is a time where I'd usually like veg out, look at my phone, look at TikToks, maybe make a couple TikToks. Um, I edit my video for the day, which I still need to go do. So maybe I'll take a shower. This is already changing my life. I've been doing it for five minutes. Am I gonna shower? I could do laundry. Oh my God. Wait, is this actually gonna be really good for me? I've been doing this for two minutes. Oh my God. Okay, I think I'm gonna shower. Oh my God, you guys. I took a shower and I put a load of laundry in and I just listened to like a 20 minute podcast on ADHD and dermatillomania, which are things I've been struggling with. I've done all that in the last like 45 minutes just because I wasn't looking at social media. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm already impressed with how well this is going. I'm not gonna lie guys, this is weird. So I've been watching a lot of Naked and Afraid and that's kind of how I feel right now. Like I feel like I should edit the next little portion of this video, just like how they edit Naked and Afraid. Basically right now, um, I'm realizing this is gonna be harder than I thought. I'm starting to feel the pain and the urges to check my social media. I am scared. I don't know what I'm going to do to feed that hunger. I'm starting to hear like these phantom notifications from my phone that aren't even going off. Like I'm starting to like, I feel like hallucinate the sounds of social media notifications. Hello? I don't know what I'm doing. Oh my God. I swear I keep hearing it go off. I don't know what I'm, I don't know what. Social media. I don't know what's going on online. I don't know what TikToks are trending right now, but I am strong and I know I can get through this. Scene. Anyway, I really am feeling the urges to look at my phone. So I played in the backyard with Flynn and we played in the sprinkler and we played with water guns. Uh, we looked at the butterflies that we have that just hatched out of their cocoons. We've been playing with trucks. Um, we had snacks, we had lunch. We've, we've done a lot together today. Sans the phone. There are times where like, I found myself in the backyard when he was like kind of playing by himself in the sprinkler and I was sitting two feet from him, but that was a time where I normally would have pulled up my phone and like checked Twitter or Instagram and I was like, <gasps> I can't, this is weird. And when I think about it, when I think about how I don't know what's going on on social media, it's kind of stressful. Like I posted a video today and I haven't gone on Twitter to see like what people are saying about it and if they like it and what I should change next time. You know, I have no idea how people are responding to the video I posted. I'm about to upload my vlog for the day and I have no idea what people are gonna say. Usually I upload a video and then I look on Twitter and see if people like it, if I should do more content like that, what people's favorite parts are, if people are making memes of like different things from the videos, like that's, like one of my favorite parts of my job and I'm not doing it and it feels really weird. So I do feel like I'm having a more fulfilling day as far as like moments and life goes. Like I actually put on jeans today and I showered and I got my laundry done and I cleaned the litter box and I started to clean up a little bit and I've been playing with Flynn a bunch. I've gotten a lot of work done. I listened to a podcast about mental health and it's only been like six hours, five hours since I started. So I feel like it's already been very beneficial. It's just, uh, I am missing it. Like I still feel like I'm feeling the addiction of like, I want to see what's going on on my phone um, is hard. But right now it's the middle of the day and I have a lot of distractions. So I feel like tonight is when it's gonna be really hard. When I, I have really bad insomnia and not being able to look at social media tonight while I'm trying to fall asleep is going to be brutal. So I'm gonna make it through the rest of the day and I'll update you tonight when I can't look at my phone. 
Cool. Okay, it is almost 10 p.m. and I put my son to sleep. I cuddle with my son to help him fall asleep. And I usually look at my phone after he passes out. I just kind of lay there in the darkness and like scroll through TikTok or Twitter and Instagram and all that stuff. It was so hard not to do that. Like I was like, what do I do? I'm just laying here in the darkness. Like what am I supposed to do to myself? I was very uncomfortable. It actually triggered my dermatillomania pretty terribly just because I wasn't stimulated at all. Like I didn't, I wasn't getting any sort of dopamine or stimulation or entertainment. My ADHD was like, I need something. And so I just started ripping off my skin. If you want to know more about that, that's not what this video is about, but it is something I struggle with. So you can watch my vlogs if you want more info on that. But um, that was horrible. So I figured out the first horrible side effect of this and that was really bad. It's only 10. I still have to try to go to sleep tonight without social media. I'm a little worried. Uh, my mental health and my physical health is more important than me not looking at TikTok. Um, so... If it triggers another dermatillomania episode, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might have to just, like, look at something. Um, I'm gonna try to think of something tonight before bed, because that was really bad. But the rest of the day was great. I, I enjoyed not looking at my social media for the most part, but anyway. I'll report back to you guys in the morning. <laughs> Guys, it's the next day and last night was hard. It was really hard to not look at social media. I felt like my mind started spiraling more than it usually does and I still had bad insomnia. Today I am feeling the yearning sensation. I am desperate to use my social media today. I am dying. I uh, do feel like I'm having a better workflow. I'm getting more stuff done around the house, like cleaning and stuff like that. Random little things that have been on my to-do list for months are getting done, which is wonderful. But man, the addiction sensation of really just wanting to check social media is, it's killing me. I have no idea what's going on in the world. I mean, I guess I could check the news, but like, I don't want to check the news. My husband just sent me a picture of bananas in the litter box. Okay, gotta go. I feel like your average everyday person who might take a break from social media might enjoy like the calm and the quiet and relaxing, but I cannot sit still and cannot function when I don't have something to distract my brain. So that results in me doing things like making blankets. I'm making a blanket. I don't know what I'm doing, but here we go. I made a blanket. Now it's almost midnight. It's night two of trying to figure out how to sleep without social media. Once again, I feel like someone on Naked and Afraid where I'm like, how am I gonna sleep without looking at random TikToks for hours? How? I don't, I don't know what's going on online. I don't know what's trending. I don't know what pictures people have posted to Instagram. I can't see anyone's like vaccination photos where they post that they got vaccinated. <laughs> I can't see random millennials repost all of their birthday notifications on their Insta stories that they were tagged in. How will I survive? Okay, clearly this is affecting me mentally. <laughs> when I go to bed, I'll report back in the morning. Okay, I'm day three of no social media and I totally failed. I'm a lonely cat hair on the lip of an angel. I may or may not have like looked at some TikToks. But just for a little bit, just for like five minutes and then I stopped myself. So I totally cheated. And then I also last night had a really, really bad night. It made like my anxiety and everything worse. So now I'm kind of struggling with like, what's more important here? Me doing this video about social media or me not ripping off all my skin. Also, I feel so disconnected from my audience. Like I think that might be the worst part about all this is that like, I hate not knowing what people are talking about, what people wanna see next, what people are enjoying about videos, what they don't like about videos, what, oh my. My newness is that my Mr. Flynn? Can I get a hug, please? Look. What's that? A bucket too. Can I have a hug? Oh. Hugs, thank you. We're gonna go play trucks. Yay. See you later. Well, I failed. <laughs>
I got three days, guys, okay? But I was feeling bored and anxious and I just accidentally opened up my social media and accidentally was on it for a long time. So I failed, okay? I failed. But I feel like I learned a lot of valuable lessons in the last three days and I do feel like I'm gonna spend a lot less time on social media now than I used to just because I see the benefits of it. But I also see the benefits of being on it. So I just think I need to like rearrange how often I'm on. But I did spend a long time on the internet and I totally failed. So I did not go week. Three days is pretty good, maybe. Okay, so we all knew I wasn't gonna make it a week. Are we surprised? No, but I am very proud of myself for how long I did make it, even though it might not seem like that big of a deal to most of you. It was a big deal to me and it was enjoyable. I think the most surprising realization is that even though social media is my job, taking away social media made me better at my job. There were so many less distractions. When I was bored, I couldn't go onto TikTok and scroll for an hour. I was like, what am I gonna do? And I would sit down and plan and work. I thought I needed social media to get work done, but I actually feel like social media has been hindering me from getting work done. I had deeper conversations with my husband, with my best friend, with Flynn even. I do feel like prior to this, whenever I'm with Flynn, I really am barely ever on my phone. Like when I'm with Flynn, it is very much Flynn mama time. So it didn't change that too much. There are times where he falls asleep and then I get on my phone. And instead of that, he fell asleep and I would just cuddle him and be in that moment with him and then quickly get up and go do something. Um, it was weird not using my phone. I didn't necessarily like it, but I feel like I learned a lot not having my phone and I appreciate the time that I had not using my social media. I actually think I'm gonna give myself limits now on how much and how often I should be on social media per day. I'm not very good with rules and structure, so I don't know how long this will last, but I think it would be really beneficial for me to put a limit on every day how much I can be on my social media apps, like an hour per day or something like that. That way it ensures that I'm not wasting time on social media. It's one thing to use social media for work and to be posting stuff and to stay up to date on current events and what your friends are up to, especially during a pandemic, it's nice to like see other human beings and what they're up to since I'm still not seeing anyone in person yet. But I did realize that I waste a lot of time on my phone as well as work on my phone. So I'm actually really excited to try and like shift my daily life and how often I'm on my phone. I think it will improve my life greatly. I strongly recommend everyone do this. I know I was super skeptical at the beginning of this video, but um, I really did see so many benefits and I'm not saying social media is bad. I'm not saying being on your phone is bad because I actually do not think that at all. There are a lot of moments where I really missed looking at my phone. I felt out of the loop. I wanted to know what my friends were up to. I miss posting in real time. It made me feel way less connected to you guys as my audience. I love chatting with you. But that being said, I do recommend everyone try this, even if it's just for a day, even if it's just for an hour. Just be like, okay, from 12 to one today, I'm locking my phone in my room. For some people that would seem like that's not that hard. But for some people that's really difficult. So try not looking at any social social media for a week, a day, um, every other day, something like that, and just see what happens. I feel like it opened up a side of my brain that's kind of been sleeping for a while to force myself to be creative. That side of my brain that I had to use a lot as a kid when I didn't have a phone and I didn't have social media for most of my life, that side was like, I'm bored, uh, I'm gonna go do a craft, I'm gonna go write, I'm gonna go work, I'm gonna go see a friend. That side of my brain that where I'm forced to do something to entertain my brain, that was awoken because with social media, if I'm bored, I open up TikTok. With that gone, I was forced to be creative and that was really fun. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Have you ever tried this? Are you going to try it? Do you think social media addiction is bad? Do you think it's, who cares? Like, are you cool with it? How do you feel? I wanna know from you guys how you feel about this. If you wanna try this, if you have tried this, things you've learned from it. I wanna know all the things. I miss you after not using the internet. So please leave lots of comments for me to read. I want to read them all and, and remember how wonderful it is to be friends with you guys. I'll see you guys next time. I love ya and don't forget to subscribe and all the things. Okay, bye. You can relax. Colleen and Eric have a podcast. The world is scary and we're locked in our home, but now we have big microphones. So you can relax. That's the name of our podcast.